Welcome to Did You Know, the Final Cut Pro game show where you tally up how many tips you knew and write the amount in the comments below at the end of the video. But you have to be honest because if not, our resident Jabberwocky will attempt to hack your Final Cut Pro and make it perform slower than it already does. I'm your host, Dylan John Dickerson, and let's play. Did you know? You may or may not already know that you can perform a slip edit by pressing T to bring up your trim tool and dragging to adjust what part of your clip is shown in your video. But did you know that by holding Option when you're using your trim tool, you can then perform what is called a slide edit. So you can slide to the left, slide to the right. One hop this time. Right foot, left stomp. Everybody clap them. Yeah. This is a great way to have a clip start sooner or later in your video while keeping the same duration of not only the clip, but your video as a whole. Did you know that you don't even need to press this button down here to switch between your transform tool, crop tool, or distort tool, or remember any keyboard shortcuts? Simply right click the viewport and you can select from here. Did you know that just by double clicking the top of the inspector window, you can make it drop to the bottom of the UI so you have a nice big interface to see? And since we have the inspector window nice and large, did you know that if you have a color in one of these palettes that you'd like to apply to another part of the preset that you're adjusting, you can simply just drag the color to the other box that you would like to change. This next one is definitely useful for those with slower and older computers. Did you know that by right-clicking your footage, going to Transcode Media, and creating what is called Proxy Media, you can create low-quality copies of your footage that'll make it easier for your computer to handle editing. After this transcoding step, you just switch your view to Proxy Preferred to take advantage of the much smoother playback and editing. Then just switch back to optimized original once you export. How are you guys doing in the game? Five out of five? If not, I hope you're learning some new things. Did you know that you can instantly mend any unwanted cuts by clicking the cut and pressing the delete key? Did you know that with your color curves, you can hit this drop down menu and change the hue to whatever you want so you can use them to make color correction and color grading a breeze. On the same note, while this video is not sponsored, it is brought to you by those who have joined the FCP Color Grading Masterclass. The Masterclass has been getting incredible reviews and it is not only for those who use the tools in Final Cut, but it also fully covers the plugin Color Finale 2 Pro. Whether you want to master color correction, become a pro at grading log footage, or learn to create amazing looking color grades that most people would think came from DaVinci Resolve, then this course is for you. Okay, back to the game show. Did you know that if you want to see your audio meters, you don't have to go into this menu system. You just have to press the audio meter bars right here and they'll pop up. Did you know that by holding the tilde key, also known as the grov key, you can then freely move and adjust your media without having the magnetic timeline suck other things with it. Essentially, you're turning off the magnetic timeline when you press this key. For example, if I perform a slip edit here, all the attached media on this clip moves with it. But if I hold the Grov key, we're golden. And a little fun fact that doesn't count towards your overall score, if you hold the Grov key and then press shift, this handy feature will stay on even when you're not pressing the button. Did you know that by selecting a clip or even multiple clips and pressing option T, you can instantly create a crossfade on your audio so you don't have to move these small annoying markers manually? On the same note, did you know that by pressing Control S with two clips selected and then trimming either the end of one or the start of the other, it will create a J or L cut, which can create a smooth audio transition between your clips. So a better flow of audio, if you will. Did you know that by switching to Geico, you could save over 15% or more on car insurance? Kidding, that one does not count as a point. Deduct it from your score, Steve. Did you know that if you want to reset just one parameter on, let's say, one of your color wheels, you don't press this because it resets everything, so the hue, saturation, and luma parameters. Instead, you just double-click the slider that you want to reset. Did you know that if you're unsure of which clip would fit the best in a certain spot in your video, you can just drag clips or sections of clips onto each other, hit Add to Audition, 
And then you can double click this icon to scroll through your options to see which one would work out best. Or an even faster way is just pressing the shortcut Control, Option, and hit the right or left arrow keys. Final point, did you know that by using your index, you can search and select for different clips, sound effects, etc., and either instantly apply effects to all of them, no matter where they are on your timeline, just by double-clicking the effect when they're selected, or you can delete different things applied to them by going to Edit and Remove Attributes. This saves you a boatload of time. Instead of having to manually sift through your timeline to select certain media to make adjustments. Okay, it is the final countdown. So tally up. Siri, turn off music. Okay, now playing your favorite music. You're on the phone with your girlfriend. She's upset. Tell me your honest score in the comments and please let me know if you enjoyed this video. If so, I'll end up creating a part two. Have a great rest of your day, guys. And subscribe to his channel.